Uh, so I'm from Carmel, Indiana, and then my home at Purdue is at a lot of places. I'm in a sorority on campus, so that's where I live, and then I've also really found my home here at St. Tom's, just with the home of the church and the home of the community here. If I'm being honest, I'm a huge person who really values those people in my life, and I had a lot of those close people coming to Purdue. And I also originally entered school as a math education major, and I enjoyed that the school was a STEM school. Um, and I also enjoyed how close it was to my house. I wanted to be far enough away from my house where I would have my own independence, but also close enough where I wouldn't get super homesick. So I switched my freshman year. Um, I did one semester in math education, one semester undecided, and then ultimately I decided on communication and psychology. Um, I really enjoy that because I can do really whatever I want with it. I really have a lot of flexibility and to see the ways that my interests can kind of be shaped into that major. I really hope post-grad I can do some more work within my faith. I've considered becoming a missionary, working for the diocese, working for local churches, really doing anything where I can really make my faith a priority in my life. So the first ministry that I got involved with was our Ignite Small Groups, and then I've been a part of Boiler Catholic Women's, I am a part of Boiler Awakening, and then I attend Wednesday Night Mass, and then I'm also an officer, so I have the opportunity to really get to oversee every ministry. I really love to do anything outdoors and anything with my friends. I love to go to Celery Bog or to Happy Hollow and get to take a nice little walk. Or I love getting to just go out and eat with my friends or spend time with friends because my schedule can get really hectic and sometimes I can put those relationships on the back burner. So anything I can do to make sure I'm still fostering those relationships is something that's super duper important to me. I think my personal goals are to be more open with those in my life and to really make sure to ask for help when I need it. I have a lot of things that are a lot of moving parts in my life and sometimes I can get so wrapped up in those that I forget to ask for help or forget to communicate with those in my life. So I really want to make sure that I'm doing a better job of being vulnerable with others and really asking for that help because I know there's no way I could do everything on my own. My goals for Boiler Catholics in St. Tom's, there's a lot. There's a lot that we work together with as a team and that I work towards personally. A big thing that I am really passionate about is making sure that the Greek life community can really feel welcome on campus and at St. Tom's, so that they've got a place everywhere. Um, making sure that I can help foster some new ministries, welcome them into existing ministries, and just making sure that we're welcoming as, as many people in as possible throughout the year, no matter what you're involved in outside of St. Tom's. The Eucharist means everything to me. It's hard to sum it down to one word. Um, something I'm really passionate about with the faith is that when Jesus came to earth, he not only took on the human body, but he also took on the human condition. So getting to spend time in adoration and really in front of the Eucharist, you're in front of someone who's lived it and who knows how you're feeling. So I'm a someone who struggles a lot with talking to other people because I think that no one understands what I'm feeling or what I'm thinking. And being able to sit in front of the Eucharist and take that time just to be with someone who I know understands what I'm feeling, who I don't have to guess what you know, I need to explain right or wrong. I've got someone who understands and who knows what to do to help um, has been something that's very comforting for me and that has really helped to grow my relationship with the Eucharist.